hello guys in this video we are going to learn how we can create our first gcp vm so i suppose you already have your free trial gcp account and your first project created so i have created my first project having like my first project name and now i am going to create my first gcp vm so let's get started go to navigation menu and click on the compute engine so you will land on the vm instance home page so this is the vm instance so currently here are no vm instance created by me in this project so it will not show here anything so i'll start the creation of my first vm i'll click on the create instance so it will ask me to fill some mandatory fields so here the instance name so i will give as a demo instance okay then the label we can give the labels for our use suppose i will give the label as an environment label and the value i will put as a dev like this is my dev machine okay then the region it's always preferred to use the region nearest okay so i will choose the mumbai region which is asia south one and there are three region three zone in the mumbai region the south one c b and a so i will keep the default c as it is now come to the machine configuration so google has provided the variety of the machines for our vm creation and we can use these machine type based on our requirement so you can see the machines like e2 n2 n1 n2d and the machine type here you can see the machine having the larger ram like 4 gb 2 gb in standard you can see the more 8 gb or 16 gb ram for this demo we'll just select the e2 medium which is the default one then comes to the boot disk so boot disk actually we can give our os name like the os we can select the operating system we want to use so we'll look at the options we have so we have the centos OEN, debian red hat linux ubuntu and the windows so i'll select just ubuntu for this demo and the persistent disk i'll keep 10 gb as it is then i'll click on select then here is a service account so service account is useful to communication with the other gcp services in my projects so i'll post the next i'll post the lecture on the service account communication soon so for now i'll choose the default service account okay from the drop down uh, you could see the default one okay so i'll keep this access scope and firewall as it is then i'll just to go to the network tab so here are options so network type like suppose i'll give the demo so these network type will be useful while creating any firewall rule for a vpc okay that part will come later now the network interfaces if you have any vpc created in your gcp project you will see that in drop down currently i do not have any vpc created so there are no other options to select me in, apart from the default so i'll just choose the default one and the network default sub network is also default the primary ip so you can choose between automatic and the custom so we'll, we'll choose automatic so external ip there are option to we can either hide external ip or like choose a formal so we'll just choose a formal okay and then no other option we need do for here and so the external ip is useful to communicate apart from the gcp project like the internet and the internal ip is useful for the communication inside your network so if you have to add any additional disk you can add from here add this option add new disk or like attach existing disk so currently i don't want to add any new disk so i'll just create my virtual machine with this option it will take a while to provision my vm so it's just showing like your instance is being provisioned and will soon begin running so once it is running it will show the red sorry green symbol here okay now the instance is running so here you can see the asia south one zone we selected then the internal ip external ip the network tags we added and the labels so now i want to log in into this vm machine okay so i'll just use this ssh option from here and i'll just open it 
browser window okay so now it's connecting to my vm okay now we are connecting to our demo instance we can connect as a root as well now we can check the host name okay that's it for this video now let me know if you have any question thank you